Dead meme. Hey guys, I'm looking to cover the carrier and fighters, how to manufacture them, what are the requirements for all of this. So basically it can give you an introduction to what you're going to need to actually uh, have a carrier, how to supply it with fighters, where to get these fighters, things like that. So we're first going to open up the build menu. So you're going to need a minimum trinium in order to make a hangar. This is the lowest tech level required or the lowest mineral level. And as you can see, it creates like a little line that fires out, lets you know uh, what direction ships will be able to dock. So these ships that will be coming in and out, the space needs to be clear. Like I could, like as you can see, there's a lot of decoration here, but where the hangar actually is located is so high up that it's not going to interfere. Because if I were to put any block, like say here, or even just out here, this this hangar will stop functioning. So enough of that. Let's look at the hangar button. So basically, this is where you're going to manage all of your ships. So I've got many salvage fighters. I've got a few combat fighters. There are quite a few out of date ones. Uh, I figured that this is a good time since I'm going to be replacing them to um, to basically show you that process. So I'm going to be upgrading them. And in your subsystems, I do recommend fighting the AI, which is one of the bosses that drop Zotan artifacts, which provides fighter squadrons and also removes the requirement to hire pilots. So it will make your carrier much, much cheaper. So we're going to head to the map now. What you should type in in the top left corner there is fighter, and that should highlight anywhere where a fighter factory is available. You're going to notice a theme. The closer you get to the center of the galaxy, the more common these are. So I'm moving away, and as you can see, there are much, much less fighter factories as you move away from the trinium level. So I am here. Uh, I've already parked next to a fighter factory. So one thing to keep in mind, fighter factories have a tech level. So the closer they are to the center of the galaxy, the more uh, powerful fighters that they can build. So let's open up the trade menu. So as you can see, there's a tech level. And you've noticed the theme here, tech level 41. So it's safe to say that this station will be able to build a fighter for you at, le at a level 41 tech level. We'll get a little bit more into that when we enter the interface. So these are the fighters they have available. Sometimes they will not sell to you depending on your status. I, I am not uh, friendly enough with these guys. They won't sell me that. So we're just going to dock in. And we're going to open up the fighter construction menu. Because this is probably what you're way more likely to do. You're not. I feel you don't find fighters uh, that commonly for sale that are worth having. So you'll click build fighters in that dialog menu. You're going to need to choose a um, a model for it. Uh, the pirates don't worry about them. So I've got a Babylon 5 Star Fury. The, um, the fighter polygon counts, there is a restriction on them, at least in the base game. So um, you, if you want to have a much prettier looking fighter than this, you're going to have to change that. But for the most part, uh, you can't really see them half the time, so I don't see a big deal. A good one to sort by is Rarity. So I've got some nice uh, cannons here that we could throw on this fighter. So tech level 40, this factory would be able to produce this for me, and it, it's exotic laser fighter. So I, I may not actually be able to buy this in the end. So size, uh, this makes the thing take more space in your hangar bay. Uh, typically, it mostly depends on the uh, piece of equipment you drop in there. And then you'll get a whole bunch of other attributes to spend, like you can make the, the vehicle more durable. Uh, if you're anything under like 1500, it's probably going to get smashed to bits. Like they just, everything in the center of the galaxy is significantly more nasty. Maneuverability is important. We don't want this ship to be easily shot down. A reasonable amount of speed. And as you can see, it's going to cost me 400000 to build this fighter. So, yeah, perfect. So it allowed me. So now, because this ship has a hangar bay in it that's active, 
I'm going to replace these uh, Neonite fighters. So I'm going to take the fighter here, the exotic laser that we just built, and drop it into this blue, tip, blue uh, print tab. The downside to this is I'll never be able to build this fighter again, but its DPS is 60. Uh, it's not really... Um, it's really out of date, so I'm not that concerned. But just keep that in mind. Say if I were to drop it here on this salvage fighter, I'm going to not be able to build this one. And this is an important salvage fighter. And same with this one. So here we go. It's going to say, are you sure? It's going to destroy the fighter. When you click this button, it'll begin the production. And it'll tell you the cost. 20,000 Ognite for one. Very expensive. So later on, when you're making the absorbent amount of money that I've shown you in the previous videos, this won't bother you too much because you could buy this stuff. And that's my percentile, how far along I am. And it's going to take 34 minutes. Now you can fix this by uh, improving the assemblers on your ship, building the, by placing in the better uh, fighter related augments into your um sys uh, subsystems panel so there's something else we should cover here i've got this symbol there's no transporter block on this vessel so if i were to use the r type vessels um the ones that basically store salvaged and mined material in your cargo bay that mining ship or that little mining fighter or salvage fighter will not be able to do its job so unless i decide to put a transporter on there, it's not going to be able to function. So uh, this ship is just holding on to these so that I can give them to a new vessel that's going to be a dedicated salvager for the time being. Uh, to keep in mind, if this ship is destroyed while carrying this complement, all of this will be gone. So this cost me almost 20,000 Ognite to make. Imagine losing that full complement. So uh, carriers bring a level of expense to the game so and uh so keep them safe right like this ship has the best shields in my entire fleet at the moment let me see yeah almost six million shields it's got the best shielding of all of my ships at the moment because uh, that's just too much to lose but other than that i don't know how much more i could really tell you beyond if you look on the left we can cover the fighter formations so this group is a salvage group i can ask them to go harvest this group is a combat group i can ask them to go and attack enemies or of course you can use the autopilot sections oh. so i could say salvage the sector and unfortunately the derpy ai will do things like crash into your friends and ruin your reputation and typically when a ship's on a salvage mission, that's all it can do. It won't fight back. The combat fighters will not launch. Uh, it's rather unfortunate. So, recap. The closer your fighter factory is into the center of the galaxy, the better fighters it can produce. If you try to build this fighter in a lesser factory, it may not allow it. In order to build fighters on a ship, you'll need an assembly block. There is a factory in the sector, so here we go, an assembly block. These, without them, the sh you will not be able to produce a fighter on your ship. You'll have to buy them. Very, very expensive. As well, you'll need trinium, at least trinium hangar bays in order to store the ships. And, of course, as well, you'll need to hire pilots or use the AI's uh, drop so that you have um you get the robotic pilots and you, they don't cost money so other than that have a good day guys